Hello everyone, Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I want to do a, a brief video today. It's not going to be super in-depth because it's still a work in progress. But this is the upcoming Smart Pro device. I wanted to give you guys a quick look at what it's got in it. I might boot up a couple things, but I just wanted to give you an overview. Gotta have Doom. Doom has to run on everything. It's just the rule. I didn't make the rule. I just follow it. Right now there's about 101, 102 different systems and ports. I think about five of them are ports and the rest are systems. Open bore was recently added. Myself and Jutleys, along with a couple other people, have been just kind of contributing to this firmware, adding as much as we can. Jutley's been doing with, uh, some of the artwork and whatnot. I gotta say, though, the point of this video isn't to be long or showcase a lot of gameplay. I will do that in a couple days, but I wanted to put some more work in first. <clears throat> I wanted to show you guys what's there. Retro Arch Icon needs fixing. It does support netplay. If you go in here, you got the hotspot. Connect to Wi-Fi, you can control your LED brightness it's down here, and the display brightness. Multiple themes are being worked on, so you can change them like that. You can turn it off from here as well. Sometimes if it doesn't detect a new game that you've added, you need to refresh the ROM, so that's where this is. And you can go to device info, it'll tell you. So you see, right now, it's only running at 1.2 gigahertz. It does have a max clock speed of 2.0, however the device gets a bit hot. I'm going to test 1.4, maybe 1.6, and see how it is. I think 1.4 at least would be possible. Um, however, it, we don't want the device to get too hot either, so we just got to be careful. So that's a general overview of what's on this device and what it looks like. It's very slim, very, very light. It's got stacked shoulder buttons here. This lights up when you're charging it and whatnot. Got all that down there. Charging port. It says there's a mic there. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up with that. Uh, in probably two, maybe three days, once a bit more theming is done and I've added a few more systems, that's about when I'll do a more in-depth emulation video. N64 is playable. PSP is also playable. So is Dreamcast. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that quick little video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Take care.